Hey y'all, so I'm doing a quick tour in the garden. As y'all can see, the sunflower, he's still, still standing. And the crown done got taller. I've been seeing hummingbirds, bees, you name it. Um, you name it. What you doing, KK? Showing how tall it is. He's so silly. Okay, and K is five seven or five nine. I think he's five, five nine. nine. Okay, y'all, it just depends on what day it is, if he in a good mood or not. He, When I said he was five, seven most of the time, or five, six, he was like, no, I'm not five, nine. Something about military then told him he was five, nine. Okay. But anyway. I'm sure that I'm short on the, on the on the line. Really? That's what you gonna say? Right, I can get it to type easy though. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so <laughs> moving right along. The um my cucumber plant is coming to the end of its season as y'all can see. It's dying out, but I also found some aphid stink bugs on it and I believe sometimes they can get in there, but still got a few last few cucumbers I gotta pick are still hanging off. I took down the rest to make room for the black eyed peas. So these black eyed peas are really doing well. And um, I saw a video about them. Um, and they were saying how uh, a lot of these come from over in Africa because they can stand a lot of heat. You can grow them in either regular soil or sand. This one's puckling up and getting thicker. Um, regular sand or um like i have just in standard soil and as you can see they'll just keep growing and you can pick them and these are some of the flowers that come on in the mornings yes like i told y'all once before they be real pretty white and then they switch over to this um yellow cream color so pretty much every day i've been picking picking black eyed peas and um, they're starting to try to move out across the yard a little bit. My corn back here is going crazy and uh, I'm glad for it. We still got um, sunflowers up on the deck. They're doing really good. Made sure they all had good watering this morning. I just love such a pretty yellow colors and uh, the hummingbirds, the hummingbirds really are enjoying them. I told y'all about my tunnel. So as y'all can see, the black eyed peas are growing across the top of the tunnel, which is what I wanted. All right, got a few more black eyed pea pups started growing along here. And coming along, coming along the fence, and they'll be able to grapple on and take off. Got some corn. Oh, one of my corns is down. I wonder what happened. Maybe something came in here. It's still secure in the ground, though. Just wanted to do a few corn, but as you can see, they are really taking off. These black eyed pea vines, I swear, they, whew, they be all over the place. I'm just leading them toward, toward the um, other side over here. So hopefully they'll take off and keep growing on over to the trellis. Still picking a few um, broccoli florets. They still coming in here and there. Um, and some of them are starting to try to seed out. I've got in this box, they haven't started coming in, but I've got a few. Well, yeah, I see a few baby carrots. I planted some more carrots, and I got a few little bell peppers trying to come in few bell peppers trying to come in right here on this side here so we'll see if they do or if it's too hot 
I'm still picking the ornamental um, chili peppers. And I just love all the different colors. These aren't ready to harvest because they turn blood red when they're ready to be harvested. There's one down there that might be ready. I'll give it a couple of days and usually they'll be um, ready to pick. I've got uh, two bell pepper plants coming up here and then two here. So a total of four bell pepper plants. My onions, I've been chopping off the tops using them when I'm cooking. These are like lemons, lemons that I uh, planted to see if they would grow and do anything. And uh, they holding on, so I'm letting them hold on. These are lettuce, lettuce uh, plants that I allowed to go to, to seed. So I'm going to see if I can get me some, um, some seeds off of these like I did the bok choy and the collard greens. And uh, this one here is a turnip green plant that I'm allowing to go to see it. As you can see, it's starting to get the, the little pods on there. And they'll thicken up. Um, they'll thicken up. And once they start thickening up, here's one that's thickening up. Once they start thickening up, I'll be able to uh, harvest those and get some turnip green seeds. All of that from one turnip. I planted some okra here in this box, um, box, and uh, only one of them came up, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but I planted some more, and in this back box, I planted some Swiss chard, because the Swiss chard hasn't done well for me this year. I guess it's about finding the perfect place to plant it. Oh, what we got over here? Okay, we got zucchini plants, two zucchini plants over here. I did plant a third one, but it never came up, but we got two so far. And those are potatoes. Those are those uh, cut potatoes that I planted um, to see if we could get us some potatoes. We shall see. And... Pepper Row is doing good. I did a harvesting off of these earlier today. These are pepperoncinis. And these are jalapenos over here. So I harvested some jalapenos this morning too. And Mark, he did the pepper test. And he was like, the pepperoncinis are not hot. But the jalapenos, Mark confirmed, they were ha 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 hot. <laughs> so, um, these are some more uh, pepperoncinis back here. You see the little green ones. And uh, more more um, jalapenos here. There they are. Green bean patch is still doing okay i'm gonna have to put some more fertilizer in here they're starting to turn yellow but i did a harvesting of them this morning plus a few weeks back i planted some more baby uh green bean stalks back here in the back about about eight of them and you can see they're starting to climb onto the trellis here and uh give me a few green beans so that as these are dying off, um, the new ones are coming in. Okay, I got a tomato plant back here falling over. I need to see what's going on with that. Hey, tomato plant. Ooh, it's just heavy. be picking that one soon when it gets ready okay so oh they getting heavy with the fruit that's what's going on let's pull this under here try not to break it and we'll have to come back and and secure it okay yeah we'll have to come back and secure that 
I also picked some of these tomatoes. Tomatoes earlier today. And uh, got to make me some, um, going to be making some um, pasta sauce is what I'm planning on making. And they're still holding up from the string, the twine I put on them to secure them a little better. Okra is doing well. Y'all see all the yellow, yellow okra flowers. And I, um, I harvested some off of there this morning. Still got a lot of bugs and things on the plants, but that uh, diatomous earth works well. I just got to keep putting it on there. It's just we had a really big, um, we had a really big um, rain the other day. Hate these little June bugs. They still hanging around here. See how it's all up in the plant. Have to get them off of here. Put them off into the bug bag. Goodness, they, they just love eating these plants. It was crazy. You can't see them, but you can see the evidence that they've been eating. They don't like the diatomous herbs, so I need to get out here and do another sprinkling of the diatomous herbs. And these are the little groupings of tomatoes I told y'all about that surprised me. The little six in a row, and I did some harvesting of them this morning, too. These little cherry ones, they got slipped into my my um my bin i guess when i was planting because i thought i only had the big romas but i did have a few more so that's about everything that's going on today in this here uh home garden and uh, besides us watching the hummingbirds and enjoying the hummingbirds coming and going that's about it. All right, guys.